Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. In this lesson, you'll learn how to set up a new score. You should have already downloaded and probably printed out a copy of the score of Beethoven's Eroica, which we're going to copy into Sibelius in these lessons. When you first go into Sibelius, you'll see this quick start menu. We're just going to click Start a New Score and then click OK. Now we're in the New Score Wizard. You can see on the left hand side here there's a list of different manuscript papers and clicking up each one shows you a preview on the right hand side. We could probably find one quite close to Beethoven's orchestra, for instance, Orchestra Classical. But I want to show you how to set up exactly the, the instruments that Beethoven uses in his score. So we'll go to the top of the list and we'll choose blank. Below that we're going to click on the Change Instruments button and this opens up the Instruments dialog box. At the top left hand corner we've got different groups of instruments. You can see, for instance, orchestral instruments here or rock and pop instruments below. Usually you can just use common instruments. Below that we've got a list of different families, instrumental families. So if I click on strings in the instruments list just to the right of that you'll see a list of different instruments, string instruments. If I double click on violin 1 or click on violin 1 then click add to score I can simply add it into my staves in score list. You can also hold down command or control on a PC and click on multiple instruments and then click the add to score button like that to add more than more than one at once. You can see that my list is now there under staves in score. Let's change to the woodwind family which gives me a list of woodwind instruments and then if you look at your score, your Beethoven score, you can see that we need to add first a flute, an oboe, a clarinet and down at the bottom of the list a bassoon. Let's look again at the staves in score list. You can see that those woodwinds we just added are above the strings even though we added them second. And that's because Sibelius knows all about correct score order. You can change this score order if you like by clicking on an instrument and then clicking the move up and down buttons. That'll allow you to change the order of your score. You can also come back to this dialog box at any time by pressing I for instruments and then you can add or delete more instruments to your score um, and change the order so on and so forth. Alright, the remaining instruments we need to add uh, is the trumpet in this case. Now we want a trumpet in E flat, that's what Beethoven used, but it's not in that list. So this is where we're going to change the group at the top left and we're going to change it to all instruments. Now you can see a big long list of all sorts of exciting instruments in here including trumpets in just about every key you can think of. So there's our trumpet in E flat. I'll just double click that and add it to my staves in score and then click OK. Now that takes me back to the new score wizard. Just be careful you don't click finish at this point. We want to make sure that we go through the whole of the new score wizard. It'll save us lots and lots of time. So you can see a preview of the score that we've created, the instruments we've added on the right hand side and I can change the page orientation whether I want it to be portrait or landscape by clicking these buttons here. Let's click the next button to go to the next page in the new score wizard. This page is for house styles which are a little bit on the advanced side so we're not going to worry them in this beginning course about Sibelius. Let's click on the next button again. Now this page is about time signatures and tempos. At the top you can see the most commonly set time signatures and tempos such as 3-4, the one we need. And down at the bottom we can type in the tempo that Beethoven set, Allegro con Brio. You can also see that that's a drop down menu with some ready set ones you could just click on. Above that a settings for an anacrusis bar or pick up upbeat as it says. If you need to use an anacrusis make sure that you set this when you set the time signature not afterwards because doing it later is a bit fiddly. Last we need to set the metronome mark so I'm going to give it a tick and then I'm going to delete the crotchet that's already there. I'm going to click on the drop down menu and I'm going to choose first the minim and then from the very bottom of the list the dot and that gives me dotted minim equals and of course Beethoven sets it at 60 so I'll just delete that 100 and type in 60 and then I'll click next to go to the next page. This is the key signatures list and of course we're in E flat major so flat keys are on the right and we'll click next 
And last but not least is the score info page. So we can type in here the name of the piece and we can give uh, the composer name as well. You can add your own name here if you want to take some credit for Beethoven's work. And once we've done that, we can click finish. You can see the preview of our score there. And as soon as we click finish, we're going to jump straight into the full score. We'll learn a little bit more about how to get around the score in the next lesson, which is lesson two.